Could this be the best accounting book for beginners? Let's find out. Hey there, welcome back to the channel. I'm James, this is Accounting Stuff, and today we're going to be reviewing this book, The Accounting Game, Basic Accounting, Fresh from the Lemonade Stand. What a book! This is YouTube. I hear you, but this channel is all about helping you learn accounting. And whilst I think YouTube has been revolutionary in helping us pick up and understand things quickly, I think there's still something to be said for going old school, you know? I want you to ask yourself this question. Have you ever watched a video on YouTube and thought, that, that was amazing. I need to just take all of that and put it in here and just apply it in my daily life. And then two days later, you're like, I can't even remember what that video was about. Well, that happens to me all the time. And that is why I like to supplement all of that YouTube knowledge with some longer form content like books to help reinforce these ideas and make sure they end up in here in my long-term memory. So I'm not gonna just forget it in a week's time. Now, I'm going to let you in on another little secret. I'm not a reader. I've battled with reading for years and years. The only books I could ever really get to the end of were the Harry Potter ones. And yeah, partly that's because I never realized that I needed glasses. But also I just find books so, so boring. And there are too many distractions. And what kind of books are the most boring of them all? Accounting books. Wait, no, accounting books. I was chatting the other day to one of my viewers, Winston, on Instagram, and he said that the finance and accounting books that he'd read broke new records in boredom and that he wouldn't even recommend these to his foes. When you won't even recommend a book to your worst enemies, well, that's not a good sign, is it? But Winston is totally right. There are way too many accounting books that pay far too much attention to detail and end up becoming 500 page monsters that I wouldn't even touch if my life depended on it. But is that always the case? Are all accounting books like that? I decided to do some research and see if there were any accounting books out there that won't have us all running for the hills. Anyway, during my research, one title kept on popping up. This one, The Accounting Game. I think I mentioned this one during my first ever video on the accounting equation, but today I'm gonna do a full review of this book and tell you everything that I liked and didn't like about it and then I'm gonna rate it out of five to help you decide whether it's worth your time. Every month or two, I like to release more book reviews alongside my usual tutorials. So if you'd like to see more of these, then don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any suggestions, let us know down below in the comments so that we can share these books amongst ourselves and find the good ones. Who knows, maybe I'll even end up reviewing it on this channel. Let's do this. The Accounting Game, Basic Accounting, Fresh from the Lemonade Stand. Published by Sourcebooks, produced by Educational Discoveries. I think this is the revised edition that was released in 2008. I picked up the paperback version off Amazon that I think goes for around $14, so I'll link that down below for you in the description. There's also a slightly cheaper version for the Kindle, but I would actually advise you against getting that one for reasons that will become clear shortly. So, who is it written by? Well, there are actually two authors. The first one is Judith Handler Orlov from Burlington College in Vermont. Not to be confused with Judith Orlov, the clairvoyant. Yeah, that confused me a bit in my research. And the other author is Daryl Mullis, businessman and entrepreneur who surprisingly has never taken an official course in finance. Now, why should we want to learn accounting from someone who's never taken an official course in finance? Well, actually, I think that could be one of the book's biggest strengths. Hmm, interesting. They say in the intro, and let me see if I'll get this right. Most attempts to teach accounting fail because people pay too much attention to detail and forget to convey the bigger framework or picture of the subject. Yeah, that's, that's not right. We think that most attempts to teach accounting fail because of too much attention to details and a failure to present the big picture framework of how it all works and fits together, we promise not to overburden you with the details and to focus on what are the really key concepts of accounting that any business person needs to know. I think that the author's lack of formal financial training helps them deliver on this promise of not overburdening us with the details, but does it mean they miss the mark on some of the accounting principles? Hmm, let's find out. This book takes you all the way back to your childhood. 
Over the course of a long, hot summer, you decide to set up a lemonade stand at the corner of your street and start selling your product to your neighbors and passers-by. In this fictitious scenario, you face a whole bunch of problems that mirror the ones that small business owners go through. From making that initial investment and taking out a loan from a bank, to hiring your first members of staff, managing your inventory, and selling your first product. Spoiler alert. At the end of the summer, you decide to liquidate your whole business. So we have the whole business life cycle in this book. Whilst all of this is going on, you are actively keeping a record of each financial transaction and summarizing them in the three major financial statements, the income statement, the balance sheet, and the cash flow statement. So what did I like about this book? Well, it held my attention and that is impressive because I failed to get to the end of a lot of the books that I read. It's short, at 179 pages, you can get through this in two to three days. The authors build a vivid picture on this world in which you're selling lemonade. I mean, I never sold lemonade as a kid, but now I feel like I'm a veteran. Daryl and Judith do a fantastic job of leading you into new concepts, like showing the income statement and the balance sheet as scorecards before revealing their true form further into the book. This helps you as the reader understand these ideas intuitively before they go and throw all that technical jargon at you. I feel that the book is really well structured the ideas just flow into one another so smoothly. Things like the accrual versus cash method, capitalization versus expenses, and cash versus profit are all just delivered to you so fluidly. They make great use of color in reflecting the liquidity of assets, and visually, it's just a great book to read. There's a glossary at the back that has descriptions of all of the major accounting terms, so I find myself flicking backwards and forwards to this page quite often. They introduce the reader to the idea of creative accounting, legitimate legal ways to present your books to reduce or postpone your taxes. Food for thought if you're running your own business. But by far the biggest thing that I like about this book is that it's interactive. There are heaps of examples to work through as you make your way through the book that help you test your knowledge and reinforce these ideas. To get the most out of this book, you'll need a pen to fill out the answers as you work your way through and a highlighter so that you can note down all of the key sections. When I finished this book, I went back through it and noted down all of my favorite ideas on the notes app on my laptop. So now I can access all of these anywhere, anytime on my phone if I need my memory jogged. So that's everything I liked about the book, but What's not to like? Well, at first glance, I was worried that they were going to oversimplify things, but that really isn't the case. The examples start quite easy, but then they get progressively more and more difficult as you make your way through the book. Not too quickly though, so don't worry about that. The underlying accounting is sound and should be more than enough for a small business owner. That being said, if you're experienced, you might find this book quite easy and maybe it doesn't have all of the detail that you want. But then the book isn't aimed at you anyway. Daryl and Judith promise not to overburden you with the details and this is basic accounting that we're talking about. However, I was surprised that this book didn't really mention debits and credits. They focus on balancing the balance sheet instead, which I suppose gets the job done, but I still like to see debits and credits in here. There's also no mention of GAAP or IFRS, which are the principles and standards that govern accounting, or the indirect cash flow statement, but they do have the direct cash flow statement. Maybe some of those topics are beyond the scope of this book. And one more thing, the lemonade stand in this book is a product-based business. So that's the focus here on businesses that have inventory. I do appreciate though that in this revised version, they've added a chapter on service businesses. So you can see how the accounting differs in the income statement between these two types of business. Daryl and Judith say that this book is for all of you who have hated accounting, had difficulty learning it, or ever thought you didn't really get it. But I would go a step further and say that even after studying accounting, this was a great read. I am quite frankly amazed that an accounting book was able to hold my attention to the end. And it was refreshing to take a step back and see the whole framework of accounting from a different point of view. This is an accounting book for beginners, so you could argue that it's light on the detail, but in some ways, that's how it delivers. You could always supplement this with some further reading once you've got the hang of it. After much deliberation, I'm going to give it four and a half stars. I was considering going even higher, but this is my first book review, so there has to be room for improvement. I would highly recommend this to anyone running a small business. You'll get a lot of value out of this book. I'd also recommend it to anyone who's studying accounting. Don't be put off if you think it looks a bit childish. This book will help cement your understanding of how accounting works in the big picture. If you'd like to pick up a copy, I'd appreciate it if you use the link down in the description. It's an affiliate link, so you get the chance to support this channel and get a copy of the book at no extra cost to yourself. Let us all know if you've got any other accounting book recommendations down in the comments. If you'd like to learn more about accounting, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. 
I've made a whole playlist of accounting basics videos that you can find right here.